Hi guys. I did an autopsy on the rock crawler to find out what was broken the other day. We fixed the rear motor just by changing the brushes in it. The front end is not so easy to fix. It's this uh, T piece here. Uh, I think I've called them, seen them called something like dog and bone or something. I, I don't know, but it's that T piece should go into uh, not that bit, that bit where the holes are. So that's what gives it its um, flexibility. But the one on this end of the drive shaft is broken, as you can see. In fact, it's missing a bit entirely. Uh, ideally, I'd be able to go online and order a replacement part from some uh, online stockist, but I've no idea who the manufacturer was for this. There's nothing on it that actually says who it comes from. So, um, yeah, all it says is Devil Monster Rock Crawler. Yeah, rock crawler it keeps it says that in lots of places, but it doesn't actually say who it's made by. It's not one of those WL Toys ones, uh, but it's probably a clone of that general idea, and it's very definitely toy grade, despite the fact that I put hobby grade radio control gear on it. So, I don't think there's any chance of getting a replacement bit. In an ideal world, I would have a 3D printer, or access to a 3D printer, and we could probably just print one up, but I don't have access to a 3D printer. So what I'm going to try and do is mould that into some plasticine, and then mix up some two-part epoxy and put that into the mould, and put that into the mould at the same time so that it actually um, makes one of those T-pieces straight on to the end of the shaft. I think I've got about a, a less than 1 in 10 chance of it actually working but I thought it would be interesting to have a try. So that's what I'm going to do. Worst case scenario, we can just break it back off again and see if we can find any, any nice person with a 3D printer. Or we might just magically identify the manufacturer and be able to get a spare part. Unlikely. Not sure if I mentioned this in the introduction, but I'm very annoyed. I watched somebody do this on a YouTube video or something very similar to this on a YouTube video to cast bits for a model he was making but I can't find that video or who it was so I apologize for stealing somebody's idea without giving them the credit for it now I'm not too worried about the accuracy of this I want it to be reasonably accurate but I should be able to file it to shape when I finished and I really don't expect it to be very strong because um, I'm only going to be using the glue unreinforced just going to pour it into the hole that I've made and then just leave it to dry so we'll get sort of flashing around the edges and that that I shall trim off with a file or something so well we'll just find out if we can get it to work Right, all I've done is pushed a second piece on top. I'll peel that back off again, but I've sliced down the side and the end there to give me alignment. So um, when I take that off, I'll swap that around so that end is in there. And then, I can't do it with one hand without destroying it, yeah, that's our mould, so I'm going to put that in there, pour the glue in it, overfill it, pop that on top and hope that it sort of seals it up, leave it to dry or cure 
and see what happens. I think my estimate of a 1 in 10 chance of this working was probably over optimistic. That I want to sit in there. Pack that up a bit. So it lays level. Yeah, right, what's the chances? Nil, I would say. Sets in five minutes. Step one. Okay, take that off. Take that off. Take that off there. Remove resealable cap. It's resealable, is it? Or is, <laughs> or is that the resealable cap? That looks like the resealable cap. Never used this stuff before. Old syringe upside down. Allow bubbles to rise. Snap off and discard the tab. So that's that bit. Snap off, it says. Okay, I've snapped it off. How can you see if the bubbles are rising when you've actually covered it over with this stuff? I can see some bubbles in there. Bit of a design flaw that, isn't it? Cover over the bit you're supposed to be looking at. I would say. I usually use Pangland two-part epoxy. But I thought I'd try this stuff out. Right, don't know if we can even see what I'm looking at there. We've got some bubbles at the top. Put an instant mix nozzle, nozzle onto the syringe past the prongs. Rotate 90 degrees to lock in place. So that's... Yeah, what? It's supposed to go down over there somehow. Oh, and it did. It has to go on a bit further though, and then twist it. 
There we are. So that's locked in position now. So as we squeeze this, it's actually mixing the two part glue. Apply directly to one surface to be bonded. Push both surfaces together. Remove as much excess as possible using methylated spirit. Adhesive is workable for three minutes and will set in five minutes. And then we throw this bit away. So I'm going to use such a tiny little bit. This is a complete waste. Is that suddenly going to shoot up as I'm pushing it, or is there something stopping it? Well, I suppose we have to try and use it at least once. I've got player bubble still in there. Okay, well, here we go. That's got to come off. Can apply it straight into the hole. So this is pre mixed. That's that. My theory is, if I put this in, it's going to displace enough to fill that. That's not working. I really don't want it to get it. alignment I'm doing is purely by eye. My hope basically is that will make something solid that I can then file to look like that. At the moment, quite a bit of it's running out. It's running out where I don't want it. And this bit, we undo. all the way. That's supposed to be in a position we can then pull it off. Come on. Like that. And then that bit goes over there. Somehow or other. To stop it sealing. Going off, so that bit is now wasted.
All right, well, we'll come back in five minutes and see if anything's worked. Well, I think I've given it more than five minutes. Uh, fail. In fact, complete fail because that's gone soft. It's, it looked like it was going to work then, for briefly. Bonded item can be handled after 15 minutes. Well, it's probably had about half an hour. Right, well... When I first pulled it out, it looked like it might have worked, but that whether that's interacted with the plasticine, so it hasn't gone off properly. So I, I think the general idea was okay, but that was a fail. So we'll have to think of something else. I might have another go, leave it much longer, and. Uh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. I've done exactly the same process again using some uh, double bubble, as we used to call this. Yes, double bubble. This is really ancient two-part epoxy. It's got to be at the absolute minimum ten years old. Probably older than that. Been out in the garage. I've got a box full of it. Um, so, I think the chances are it will be too brittle to work the way we want it to, but we will find out if we can at least get it apart and see what we've got. Gonna have to do some trimming up, whatever I do. <laughs> you can see it's oozed out in all sorts of directions. What I don't want to do is break it, just pulling it out of the mould. Because it would be nice to actually give it a try and see if we can get it working. Dig that, dig that out, I think. If we can just at least see what it looks like, and then we can decide. Decide what I'm going to do to tidy it up. I think I'll go and get some cutters so we can just trim around the edges a bit. Obviously you don't want to cut off the bits that we've just moulded. Opening a Christmas present, isn't it? That's a big lump. Let's see if we can trim that off.
Looks like we've got a little bit of an air bubble just where we didn't want it. Question is, does that look like that? Sort of, doesn't it? I'll get a knife now and trim that. So I don't expect this to have much strength. So I think even if it fits, it'll probably only last about two seconds before it breaks. But we'll at least have seen the general principle of the idea. I hope that the grease I put over there will help me get it off here without too much trouble. You see how brittle it is, so I expect the rest of it will be very similar. That's still smooth spinning, so that's okay. I can see that what's going to happen is I'm going to push this and it's going to just snap. But I think we can see the general idea. It's not straight. I haven't got it in quite right. Too long as well, no. I've got to trim it a little bit more, but that's what it's supposed to do. I don't think that'll last more than a couple of seconds, to be honest. I'll trim it up with a file now. But we can see the principle has worked. I don't think I've got it neat enough to be practical. But for the first attempt, we've got the general idea. I'll clean that up a bit more. Well, there we are. I've cleaned it up. Clearly, I haven't got the moulding straight. Uh, it's not. It's offset slightly. So I didn't get it into the mould properly. But it looks the right shape. And I really don't expect this to last for more than a matter of seconds. But it does fit in there. I don't know if it's quite long enough. It may be a bit short. Uh, As I said, there's a little bit of an air bubble on the end, so... Well, it's the same, same as that. I could take um, bets on how long it might last to the nearest second, <laughs> but I'm not going to. 
I think what I might do is I might leave that in sunlight to really go off hard. It's going to break, isn't it? There's no question it's going to break. But it's been fun trying it. Yeah, I'll stick that in the sunlight and come back later on today. That'll do for this video anyway. I'll probably do a short video where I put it in the car, run it and see it break. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.